Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 23rd of 2024 is titled Comet Suchinshan, Atlas Approaches. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a number of different objects in the sky, including a couple of galaxies off to the left, a number of stars located within our own galaxy scattered around the entire image. And toward the upper right, we do see a comet. Now a comet is actually a part of our own solar system. So these are balls of ice that are scattered around our solar system. And when they come into the inner part of the solar system, they get heated up by the sun and they start to form the tail that we see here. Now normally a comet is very small and would be invisible. So we would not be able to see these out in the depths of the solar system. They would be balls of ice and other bits of material that scattered through that that are just orbiting around the sun like all the other objects in our solar system. But they would not be anything that stands out. But because they are primarily icy when they come into the inner solar system, the sun heats them up and vaporizes them and will then cause material to be visible as we see it in terms of the tail being pushed back by the energy of the sun. So we get to see a comet only that little bit of time it spends in the inner portions of the solar system. Now this comet may be visible to the unaided eye coming up soon and that would be depending on how bright it happens to become. Comets are really difficult to predict in terms of brightness. It's not an easy thing to determine how bright a comet will be because there are many variables and we just don't know the details of the structure of the comet. Some of the comets get broken apart by forces and energy gravity of the sun. So some of them don't even survive. Others will become very bright. This is one that may become bright as it comes to its closest approach to the sun uh, this coming week and then will pass closest to the earth next month. Now, while I say it'll pass closest to the Earth, that really doesn't mean that it is going to be close to Earth in any way, any specific way. It's actually going to be half an astronomical unit or half the Earth Sun distance away at its closest approach. But the comet is currently visible in the morning sky and can be seen with a pair of binoculars uh, rising just before the sun and then will move into the evening sky over the next few weeks. So it's certainly visible in a pair of binoculars, may become visible to the naked eye, but that's something we're just going to have to watch and see how it brightens over the next few weeks. So that was our picture of the day for September 23rd of 2024. It was titled, titled Comet Suchinshan Atlas Approaches. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Dusty Baboon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.